In this video of PLSQL, we will cover the conditional statements. As in the previous video, whatever PLSQL block we have written, it got executed line by line. But if I want, like some of those lines should be executed when a given condition is true, we can include the conditional statements. So basically, if I will talk about such conditional statements, it will perform some uh, conditions, it will check some conditions which will return you a boolean. So anything which is returning a boolean can be put in a conditional statement such as the comparison operator. If the comparison will be successful, it will return you a true, otherwise it will return a false. Similarly, the logical operator which deals with the val uh, boolean values and returns the boolean as well. Or there might be any function whose return type is a bool. So you can pass multiple conditions using the logical operators or if you want you can put some multiple statements for passing the condition as per your requirement. So and as, as I said condition can be formed by using comparison logical operator which returns a boolean all right so along with that as I said you can also pass some functions whose return type is a boolean now let's see what are the statements available here using which we can pass a condition so as in the programming if you're aware it will be simpler for you otherwise it's okay we will be covering all the scenarios here so if then means if you want to pass some condition you can write that condition after if and if after the condition you will write then so if that particular condition will return you true all these statements written after that will get executed and you can finish it with the end if similarly if you want to pass anything if the condition is false you can use else so if condition then if you want to do something write those statements if the condition is true those statements will get executed but if the condition is false then we have else here so you can also write some statements after else and which will be executed when the given condition will be false similarly if you want to pass multiple conditions related to each other you can make a use of else if in that case like if condition then you want to do anything else if again a condition then again some set of statements and so on as many as else if you want you can put and even after that if you want you can put the else each and everything here is situational like as per the requirement we will choose what should we write along with that we also have a case expression here using which we can start making some conditions so let's see practically about all of these statements practically. So for implementing the conditional statement, the way to begin the thing will be same. Like we'll start with the declare block where we will declare all the variables we want. And then we will start with the begin block inside which I'll put all the logical code. So here I have all the codes written already. So as you can see, first of all, it's declare. I declared a couple of variables like department ID and salary with the respective data types and size you can anytime go for the type attribute as we have already discussed then in the select statement what I'm doing I'm simply finding out the salary and department ID for a specific employee that is 105 I just took it randomly and I'm putting the value of salary and department ID in the variables that we have already defined now on the basis of department ID, I want to change the salary of the employee. So I haven't executed the update statement now, but we'll, we can do that later as well. So here, the new thing is beginning, like if statement is here, if department ID is equal to 30. So it's a condition. If this will happen, then what I want to do? So after then, I will start writing all these statements which I want to perform. So here I'm just changing the value of the current salary to the increment of 3. So if the department ID is 30, only then the salary will be incremented by 3. And then later you can see it's end if means there's nothing I want to do in this particular code. And later I printed the value of salary and department ID. 
So before the updation also, I have printed the value and after again, I'm doing that. So let's execute. So you can see here, like salary is 4800, department is 60. Since department is 60, this condition wasn't satisfied and that is why we got to see the same salary even after the change in value. But if I want to do anything like that, let's make the changes in that code itself. And what I will do, I will put one else part. So inside this else, what I can do, I can make any changes. This else will only be executed when the current uh, condition is not satisfied. So in the condition that we are comparing it with the 30, if it's not 30, means if there is anything except 30, then this else part will execute and this will change the value of salary, the current value of salary to by 10. So let's save it and run it. So you can see starting with 4800 and later it become 4810. Notice I have not executed the update statement so the changes are not yet reflected in the table. Now, if you want to pass multiple condition as a whole, so you can do that as well by putting the else if condition. All right. So if you want to pass some more values like if department ID is equal to 60, then sal is equal to sal plus 6. So uh, if the department ID is 60, which we have already seen, yes, there are there is 60 for 105. So the current salary will be changed by 6. So let's save it again and close it and execute it. So you can see now the changes is by the value is changed by 6. All right. So let's do one more thing out here. You can uh, pass as many as else if conditions as you want. Right. But make sure this else if will only be checked when the previous if conditions or previous all the conditions are false. And since this else if executed, this else will no longer execute. So before printing it, what I'll do, I'll pass one update statement also like update employees set salary, which is the column name is equal to sal where employee ID since we did it for 105 I'll use the same let's save it close it execute it so you can see there is a value right but now the values are changed in the database itself so if I will execute it again you can see the current initial value was 48.6 then 48.12 all right so it will keep on changing like, like in the same way so this is how you can use the if, else and else if statements while working with the PLSQL in Oracle. Let's have a look in one more statement that is case. So for case statement, first of all, let me clear the screen. For the case statement, I will write a different program like I'll start with the declare where I will take a number from the user, a one digit number and I will take the input from the user. So here for taking the input, I'll use a placeholder by using ampersand symbol. So whatever number user will enter, I will consider it as a weekday. And accordingly to the number, I will pass one weekday name. So for that, it's day name. And here I'll use back at two. Let's take a size 10. All right. So let's start with the implementation inside the begin. So what I'll do, I'll simply say, uh, day name is equal to now according to the num I will decide what should be going in the day name so here what I'll say I'll use case num because num is the one which I will compare so case num now inside this when one then Monday when to then Tuesday similarly you can take few more values alright 
and once you want to end or if you want to pass any default value you can use else again else Sunday alright ah, by mistake I put the semicolon symbol okay I'll get some error I'll rectify that and uh, finally I will close this keys block with the end alright now after this I'm again out in this main begin block where I'll print the value dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and inside this I'll print the day name so let's finish it up and execute as I said for now I'll get an error because of this semicolon so whatever I'll enter alright this got terminated so let me edit it again and here I will put some yep now let's re-execute it if I'll enter 2 it will give me Tuesday if I'll enter it again 3 I'll get Wednesday if I'll execute it again and will pass any value I'll get Sunday so this is how you can start working with the conditional statements using the if and case statement